Hi right, guys, happy Friday. Just coming up to midday here in London. Uh, what a day yesterday was. Absolutely insane. You know, I was looking at, at the end of the day, you know, the Dow down 1,800 points. And it was it was just an insane move. Um, today, S&P up 50. Uh, let's have a quick look at the, the NASDAQ up. 138 and the Dow up 503. 200 day moving average. It's worked, isn't it, here in, uh, in an area of support, the blue line. Um, I guess when we're looking at this more medium term, you know, I was, I, I, I tweeted I wanted 29.74 but Monday with a quiet weekend. So we never know, it could still come in. Uh, certainly on the daily, looks important around this area, 30.67. Also looks important on this low here that we've got on the, the 4th of June. Let's just narrow that down to a lower time frame uh, on the 60 minute to get the pivots on. You can see why we're just finding a bit of resistance, I guess, here on, on the pivot, trying to get above that. All of these lows from yesterday are gonna be worthwhile having, I reckon it's gonna be quite choppy, to be honest. And, and looking at, you know, more this area, that could well be, this. if you're bearish, You've got to say you're happy if it's below there. Um, people will start getting the fibs out as well, no doubt. Um, but yeah, decent move really from yesterday, wasn't it? Uh, to the downside, it might well be we start to, with any of these markets that are just retracing a bit, you know, get a, a trend line on like so, hour close below, then you can get that, that major push through. As with always, you, you know, you, with these you go, oh look, people bought the, the dip of the low the 29th. Just happened to be where, you know, you find support when we really look too much into it, because you could say, well, why didn't it go the low the first or the second? Uh, but these would be the areas, I keep an eye on the trend line or potential one. Also maybe a bit more of an intraday line in the sand at 30, 43 previous high we broke through, haven't retested it. Uh, and then those highs that I, I talked about there. With the risk on we're seeing today, the pound did push higher, however, came back into those lows from yesterday originally that's acted as a great level and we're actually at the you know, this was my previous sort of line in the sand for the pounds i keep a watch on that for sure um to see what happens there i mean that's this yeah a couple of attempts of trying to get above the pivot and it couldn't so the buyers can come in here target up there then the next sort of push through you'd be looking towards 2670, uh, 2691. If it doesn't hold, you know, again, let's get those trend lines on those lows because that could be another target area or, or point people are looking at to, to then target the, the lows, 2580 and the low of the day. Uh, the euro, I'd, I'd be, you know, happy enough if I was still, uh, I would say, short from yesterday evening because. That line in the sand did break. We retested it. <laughs> it got a bit. It would have been a bit hairy, but I guess it depends how you you, you know you take your trades. Um, but yeah, this is now going to be a zone, and if you're below there, you could say the bears are in control. Um, if we do get some more risk on though, then expect that to to come under pressure. Another key level down at the S1, I would say as well that if we were to finish the week below. 112.83 then it's a bit more exciting for the bears new range come in uh, I would be a, a buyer if we can get uh, above this whole area uh, de-risking probably around 113.87 if we break the low uh, or I guess you could call this a bit of a line in the sand look at that phenomenal resistance to turn support then you'd be looking down to that area uh, as well quick look over in the last minute uh, let's have a quick look at gold Pushed uh, higher yesterday, recovering a bit now. Yeah, keep a, a watch, obviously you have to change these levels up a bit. Target, I guess, if we can get through this area, which we're trying to uh, on the on the end of the, the four hour close as well, up to the R1. Uh, yesterday's low is today's low as well, so we're keeping uh, a watch on that. Anyway guys, catch you later on, uh, around 4.30 for the European close, and obviously I'll be doing the video at the end of the week as well, looking ahead for the upcoming five days.